Welcome to our podcast. In this episode, we unravel the breakthrough behind using genetically engineered pig hearts in transplantation. Researchers announced that surgeons at NYU Langoni Health have successfully transplanted genetically engineered pig hearts into two brain-dead patients. This is the first ever successful pig heart transplant into a living person. Experts say it is an encouraging step for the medical field. After this organ transplant milestone, the researchers said they believe they are moving a step closer to a long-term goal of using pig parts to address the shortage of human organs for transplant. The doctors have said that the hearts exhibited normal heart function in the days following the surgery. There were no signs of rejection during the three-day experiments. It was revealed that the experiments followed the death in March of a 57-year-old man with terminal heart disease who made history two months earlier at the University of Maryland as the first person to receive a genetically modified pig heart. The reasons why his new heart eventually failed are still unclear. Nada Moazami, the heart transplantation surgical director at NYU Langoni Transplant Institute, oversaw the procedures. Moazami said that the institute hopes to move forward with clinical trials using the organs in the future. In a statement, Moazami said, It brings me great excitement to tell you that the function of the heart was excellent. We did have to make some technical surgical modifications at the time of transplantation. Moazami further explained, Part of that is because the pig heart is very similar but is not identical to the human heart. Part of that was because in the first operation that we did, the heart was slightly undersized and we had to make some modifications. The researchers said that hearts from pigs were engineered by Revivicor Inc. and screened them for viruses using an enhanced monitoring protocol. For now, the researchers think xenotransplantation is safer in brain-dead recipients than in living patients. Also more informative because biopsies can be done more often. We could determine that in tremendous detail by taking biopsies, looking at it under a microscope, doing special staining, analyzing, you know, from a molecular standpoint what was happening in that organ. So the detail, the amount we could learn was tremendous, Moazami said. NYU researchers also transplanted pig kidneys into two brain-dead recipients in 2021. Thank you for listening to our podcast. We have many more such compelling episodes for you. Enjoy them. Do share your opinion in the comment box and subscribe to us for more.